Good day, dear students. I'm again with you. Today, we are going to speak about tourism potential of Uzbekistan. So, can we begin our lecture? Let's begin. As we know, Uzbekistan is very famous among the Asian countries. And Uzbekistan is a country's potential for an expanded tourism industry. Especially trade on Silk Road made Uzbekistan more famous. Cultural tourism is the only major product of Uzbekistan that is providing to visitors since its independence. There are a lot of uh, cities that are hot spots of tourism of Uzbekistan. Each autumn, the Uzbek travel industry holds an international tourism fair, which uh, it, it just uh, just uh, attracts many countries on this fair. The World Tourism Organization Silk Road Office was opened in 2004 in Samarkand. Uzbekistan is also a member of the region initiative. Now let's speak about climate and natural advantages of Uzbekistan. As we know, there are disadvantages and advantages of climates of Uzbekistan. Natural resources as lack of sea and lack of food and forests are disadvantages, while the climate, good climate and mild climate is a very positive and advantage sides of Uzbekistan. And the winter, annual, just the summer, autumn and spring are very uh, pleasant seasons and they are very mild among uh, if you compare with other countries. For example, in Kazakhstan and Almaty, the annual temperature is 8 to 10 percent degree, de degree higher. And, but in, just, I mean, in Uzbekistan, the temperature is higher. And what about the monitoring, hiking, and rock climbing? Let's speak about activity that involves a lot of tourists every year or annually. Let's speak about them. Uzbekistan mountains are for exports of tourism such as mountaineering and rock climbing. And Chimgan is especially an attractive place for tourists nowadays. Architectural and historical sites of Uzbekistan. When we speak about these this features, we can um, boast about this kind of features of Uzbekistan. It's rich. Uh, when we speak about Samarkand, it's famous for its Rajasthan, Bibi Hanum, Moscow, Kuramer, and so on, while Bukhara visits with other uh, famous buildings. The restoration works are carrying out of the memorial complex of Shahzinda in other places for reservation or preservation of uh, tourism and for involving other tourists from different parts of the world. Khorezm province and Karakul, Pakistan, when we speak about these places, they are also one of the uh, main uh, uh, places which attract many tourists uh, from different parts of the world. Let's speak about them. And there are many historical buildings and uh, Khorezm uh, province itself possesses near to uh, 300 historical monuments uh, they are famous for their historical um, places and buildings. When we speak about wildlife areas and deserts and other attractions on, on <coughs> nomadic ways, we can speak the followings. Deserts, Kisilkum and uh, other uh, Jairan, just uh, another reserve, is located 40 kilometers from the south of Yukara. And Aidar Lake is also famous uh, for fishing and yachting. And Kazalkum and Aransi uh, also attracts many tourists from different parts of the world. When we speak about Sarmish, uh, <coughs> Sarmish Sai, is also famous uh, place uh, that involves tourists. When we speak about religious tourism, we can say the following things about it. About it. As we know, there are different religious and just um, in Uzbekistan, people have different beliefs, different nations live. And uh, when we speak about mausoleum of Sheikh Zainudi, and uh, it attracts many people. Uh, just uh, people visit different kind of religious places in order to see sad places. When we speak about dental tourism, it's also famous nowadays as uh, uh, many modern dental clinics were established in Uzbekistan. They provide uh, patients with that, the, uh, just the different services and the prices are cheaper. They attract many tourists from different parts of the world. Then we speak about gastronomic tourism. As we talked before, 
especially it is related with the national food, national cuisine of Uzbek people, which attracts many uh, guests from different parts of the world. It is famous for its different food, national food. <coughs> so, uh, the most popular items of Uzbek cuisine are the following. As we know, one of them is just pelov, which is very popular. Bread is considered holy for Uzbek people. Soaps are very special, and uh, it has a special importance. And the uh, shurpa, sometimes it's called shurpa. Shurpa is a meat and vegetable soap, it is very famous. Look at the picture, that is the uh, delicious food for just Asian people, shashlik, and uh, as well as other uh, national uh, food such as mante, sopsa, halam, sumalak, and so on. All of them are introduced to guests uh, who come to Uzbekistan and they always serve or just uh, especially uh, they uh, like or they are offered uh, as a national cuisine or national food of Uzbek people and they and especially they are highly appreciated by tourists when we speak about the wine tourism we can say the food so wine tourism especially grapes are grown uh, in different parts of Uzbekistan and the wine industry highly developed in this very country. When we speak about the just the uh, Tashkent we know we have got this kind of uh, Tashkent we know produces uh, a range of quality of uh, wine products. When we speak about accessibility of, uh, of the country we can say the following things. So accessibility of the country. Let's talk about this. Let's wait for the next slide coming. Most travel involves entering and leaving Uzbekistan through Tashkent. Especially Tashkent is the center of Uzbekistan, and uh, especially airports are located. And especially daily, they uh, just uh, serve 600 passengers per day. And uh, as well as uh, they have got Tashkent, Bukhara, Samarkand, and most of the cities of Uzbekistan, and which have got different just the amount of uh, population. Ancient cities of Uzbekistan. Let's talk about them. As we know, Uzbekistan is famous for its ancient cities such as Bukhara, that is very famous with its history as well as with its buildings and as well as with their natural resources, which are famous. Bukhara is estimated to be about 230 years old, and especially it was a branch of so called. And uh, when we speak about the uh, Bukhara, a lot of people come to visit this place because it attracts uh, many people with its uh, historical buildings. When we speak about Hira, look at the picture, you can see how historical uh, the city is. Uh, it is very famous for um, with its historical buildings that attract yearly or daily, you can say, a great amount of tourists uh, and uh, from different kind of different parts of the world and uh, uh, it is also has got very long history when we speak about Samarkand Samarkand is uh, rich with a historical building and it's very famous for its Rajasthan square and uh, it has been called the pearl of the Muslim world and especially eaten of ancient East and the Rome of the East and so on it has got a lot of names because of the buildings that attract many, uh, many people many people from the different parts of the world when we speak about the Tashkent Tashkent is a, a, a center uh, of Uzbekistan and uh, at least uh, it has a ho it, it has been home to humans for over 300 years they say more than 3,000 sorry 3,000 years and uh, the main transportation hub is Tashkent and uh, especially many travels uh, pass through Tashkent from different parts of Central Asia and uh, when we speak about the other parts of the world Uzbekistan is famous for its people too very kind people, very hospitable people thank you very much for your attention it was uh, shortly or general information about uh, Uzbekistan resources thank you very much